I'm covered. Drop that in the chat this morning. I'm covered, right? Or covered, right? Which is the name of our clothing brand? Covered, right? There you go, Perry. Right? Erica, we covered. You right. You right. Melanie, you covered. Yep. Inez, you covered. Guardy, thank you for dropping that link. Do me a favor. Matter of fact, grab that link right there and just text the last person that texts you. <laughs> and say, yo. <laughs> grab that link right there and say, yo. Right? Yo, check this out. Um, some of y'all know my title if you if you went through the streets of uh IG this morning. Anybody saw it on IG this morning? Anybody saw it on IG this morning? The title. The title. If you ain't saw the title this morning, or if I ain't sent you the title this morning, oh, we about to go there. You might want to drop that to somebody before we even start. You might want to drop that to somebody before we even start. Um, Let's go to our Lord and Savior, first and foremost. Father God, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, God. Uh, God, thank you for um, dropping this word, this motivation uh, on my mind and uh, in my spirit. Allow me to share your word, God. Allow people to receive it. It's a form of um, encouragement, hope, God, even entertainment. Um and have your way with it. God bless uh, those that are hearing it, um, those that are sharing from it, um, the things that we can learn from it. We say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Man, um, yeah, while we still check to check then, I started to put dot, 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 then, right? Right? I need to put that on there again, put dot, 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 then. While we still check to check then, right? Right? A lot of times we don't talk about finances. We don't never talk about finances. You can take that title out and change that to why I'm still in my cycle. Why am I still struggling? Why am I still on the on? Why am I still going through? Right? We all have go throughs. Yes, yes. Right? So if today, if today you need some encouragement on this day, today I'm on some encouragement. Right? Right? I started writing this word uh, late last night. I got to the gym about nine o'clock last night. I got to the gym super late, right? Right? Um, and I said, man, why we still be on that struggle bus then? You know, why, why, why? There you go, Angel. Why? Right? Why, why do, why from some of us, you know, the good people on the Zoom, the good people that you worship with at church, we at church, we praising, we worshiping, some of us tithing. We're trying to do the right thing. Why? Why we still check the check then? Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, if God just said, man, you could do all things through Christ, right? Who strengthens me, why am I still going through? Yes, yes. Right? Y'all ever ask that question? Why? <laughs> right? Today, I'm on some real life motivation. I'm on some real life encouragement. If you need those words today, that's why I'm saying, man, grab that link today, right? Grab that link today and just text somebody and go, yo, this, <laughs> right? Right? If you need that encouragement today, we can answer these questions biblically. Why you still check the check there, right? Why you still not healed yet? Why you ain't delivered yet, right? Right? That's that Philippians 4.13. If God said it in his own word, right? Yaku, Phil, Angel, right? You can have it all. You can do all things, Coach Andrea. You can do it all, right? Through Christ who strengthens me. That's God's word. Why? Right? Um, Whatever state you're in today, I'm going to take my time with it, right? Whatever state of mind you're in, Whatever season that you're in, know this. God can pull joy out of it. You can get joy out of this word. You can get joy out of somebody's smile today. Whatever state of mind you're in, depression, the, the stress, yes, yes, right? Right? In his word actually can pour hope into your situation, right? We all got some situations, right, Jacob? Okay, right, right? So, again, I'm still trying to give you time to... Text somebody, right? If you need that motivation and that encouragement today and you know somebody, maybe it ain't you, that's, that's wondering why. I wrote one today. I wrote a, a fresh word uh, today, right? I wrote this. I started with this. I started with this. 
when we say we heard that song resting on his promise resting on his promise right right when somebody say they promise even if they are heathen right when somebody say man <laughs> i was talking to ty last night and we were making a joke people say i swear for god <laughs> right some people be like i promise man i promise i'm gonna be there promise right man you tell them the truth dog i promise right when somebody usually say they promise that mean they serious they mean all joking aside, real talk, no cap, however you want to worry it. Dog, I promise. Now, even some of the, some people even promise and lie. We know that too, but right? But even when we don't believe somebody, right? Somebody telling you a story, you be like, what? Say, I promise, <laughs> right? Or you be like, you promise? Sometimes somebody can say, I promise, and that's just your comforting moment right there. Yes, yes or no, Right? Check this out. God got a whole lot of promises. I went to the streets of AI last night. I was driving home from the gym and I went to the streets of AI and I said, how many promises did God have for us in his word? Right. And it said this, according to research by Dr. Everett R. Storms, the Bible contains a total of 8,800 promises from God. Right. With the majority 7,487 promises being directed at humankind, right? 7,500, 7,487 to be exact, right? Well, that's what AI said, right? So let's just say that seven, um, even uh, even KB got a song that say 10K. We were trying to break that down last night. He said 10,000 reasons I can believe them, right? Bible says 7,487, I'm sorry, not the Bible. AI says 7,487 direct promises made to humankind. That's a whole lot of promises. Yes, yes. Right? Right? I'm on some motivation today. That's a whole lot of promise. Say you promise. Right? You coming to the game, say you promise. You going to deliver, say you promise. Man, I swear for God, I'm telling the truth. Yes, yes. I swear for God. We say it just like that. Right? <laughs> For those who didn't catch that, I swear before our Lord and Savior, right? <laughs> right? God loves us so much, y'all. God loves us so much. Think about this, that he said that. Yo, dog, I promise. I promise. He want us to believe in him so much and trust him so much that he ain't just say it once, twice, a few times. God left us a whole bunch of them in the Bible. I promise, 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 right? So I wrote this down. Let's dive into some of these promises um, that God has given us. And then let's let's wonder why we get this title, why we check the check then, why I'm struggling then, right? Drop that in there. Why? Why? And you can even dot, dot, dot your own issue if you want to, right? Why am I going through? Why am I not healthy? Why am I broke? Why am I, why am I single? Why am I divorced? Why am I, why am I, why am I, right? Right. I put this down. Um, some of us are not where we're supposed to be in life, and we can acknowledge that, right? Right. Um, I ain't gonna say it's where we want to be. I'm gonna say it's where we're supposed to be, right? Right. Some of us are not where we're supposed to be, not where where we want to be, right? I was reading my word. And God told me this, why we say, why we in the same cycles, why we check the check then, why we this, why we that, why, 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 like Melanie said, right? Jacob said, I ain't trusting God enough trying to make our own way, but God needs you to go the other way. Boy, that's the whole word right there. Trying to go our own way. It's the whole word right there. God said, man, it's a process. I'm riding home and I said, God, why? Why hadn't the business taken all the way off? Right, God, we praying, we 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 doing a Zoom together. Again, some of us tithing, yes, yes. We on our knees. Some of us in our prayer closet. Some of us crying. Some of us calling out. God said, "Mark, it's a process. It's the process." Right? Here's what's crazy. I just said that. I just said that it's the process. And somebody, maybe even me, first time I heard it, I heard it like somebody else just heard it. Right? I'm like, wait. It's a part of the process to go through it, go through, right? 
some of us like, nah, 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 nah. That can't be it, right? Because everybody ain't going through the process, if that's the case, right? God said, nah, it's it's a process, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right? I look at it like this. It's the process. Uh, in order, here's the process. Here's the process. In order for us to uh, activate, install all them thousands of promises, 7, 7,500 of them, right? In the Bible. In order for us to activate all of them promises, right? Right? Um, the promise to, to comfort us. The promise that everything going to work out for the good of people, right? Right? All them promises God made, right? I wrote it like this. In order for us to actually activate these promises, right? We got to be honest with ourselves that God ain't the problem. Right. God is not the problem. We got to be honest to get to this process, to activate all of these promises. Right. Right. Here's here's the process It's going to take you to do your part. Yes. Yes. Right. And God to do his part. It's a collaborative uh, collaborative effort. Yes. Yes. God ain't the problem. We the problem. Thank you, Phil. Right. Right. Why we still check the check then? We the problem. Right? Why the marriage ain't working? We the problem. Yes, yeah, I can stop right there. We can close the Zoom out right here. You can have the rest of your day. We the problem, right? But the reason why we don't have all of our promises from what I wrote, right, has absolutely nothing to do with God. Bless Be's Bible version, it ain't his fault. Silk the shock of my Louisiana people said that song, it ain't my fault. Anybody remember that wax song? He couldn't rap, by the way. But anyway, that part gonna that part gonna go viral. Anyway, right, right. <laughs> look at y'all. Look at y'all. Right. It ain't God's fault. Right. He gonna do his part. You gotta do yours, cardiac. You gotta do yours, Erica. Genesis, Coach, Jen, Guardian, Inez, Mark, Ty. Right. <laughs> Boy couldn't rap. Man got stacks. Big facts. Right. Right. We got to collaborate on this thing. God said, it's a process, my boy, right? Here's what's crazy. We just said it. It ain't God's fault. It's our fault, right? God has already done his part already, right? Right? If you can, if you need to be reminded today of how God already did his part, right? I wrote this down. He predetermined who we was going to be before we even got here. Yes, yes, or nah, Right? Right, God was not even waiting on us to get our act together. You know how sometimes we are like, man, I got to straighten up before I go to church. God wasn't even waiting on us to do that. God wasn't waiting on us to make the mistake. God wasn't waiting on us to to come to the Lord or or, or what is it, uh, get saved and 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 reach salvation. He wasn't. He had already predetermined who we was gonna be. Yes, yes, he already did his part. Right, right before we was born. Right, in the making of creation of the world. Yes, yes, off my notes, right? God said, man, I build you in my image. I'm going to do my part, right? I'm going to give you full dominion. Yes, yes. Y'all think about that. Let that sink in. Before we even decided that we want to be a ball player or engineer or we want to be mayor or we want to, right? Before you decided that, God said, you know what? I'm going to build you in my image. I'm going to do this part here. I'm going to give you full dominion. I'm going to do this part here. Right? 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 Before we decided to say, I give my life. My life is not my own. God already said it. Yep. He already said, I'm going to give you this gift. Yes, yes. Let this part sink in. When you start thinking, why am I checked to check then? Why I'm struggling then? Why is the arguments continuing? Why am I still sick? Or why I got this same sin? Right? Why I'm in this, in this same cycle? Because we all got them. Right? Newsflash, off my notes, newsflash, right? While we saying we just waiting on God, newsflash, God might be waiting on us. We didn't talked about that before, right? He didn't did his part. He didn't gave you the air. He didn't woke you up this morning. He didn't did his part, Paul Wall, right? Erica, he didn't already started you on your way. He gave you that night's rest, whether it was good or bad. He brought you home yesterday, whether you was paying attention or not. 
right? I'm going to do my part. Mark, you got to do yours. Coach, you got to do yours. Yes, yes. I can stop the word right here when you think about it. Why we check the check then? I'm going to do my part. I'm going to give you able mind and body, some of us. I'm going to give you oxygen, some of us, right? Right? What you going to do, right? I wrote this down. Um, This is how come we can say God don't owe us nothing. He already gave us so much. For my people that think, man, God will owe me, right? I'm paying my tithe, God owe me, right? I'm doing what I'm supposed to be. I'm asking God, God owes me. Right? Right? He already did his part. Waiting on us, right? Um, I wrote this down. You do not have it, not because of God ain't gave it to you yet. It's because you ain't activated yet, right? Or, or you're activating in your own way. Jacob said that earlier, right? Here's what's crazy. We talk about the enemy all the time. The enemy has a way, right? And the way the enemy is distracting us from getting everything that God said we supposed to have is that process. It's called the process of that go through, right? All them thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of promises, right? And the enemy will have you out here thinking you by yourself and you isolated, right? God said, man, we got to collaborate. I'm going to do my part. You're going to do your part. The enemy will say, right? You're isolated, right? Those blessings, right? Those promises are activated when we do this thing, when we're on the same page, when we want on one on, um, on one accord, right? Right? Enemy will have us thinking, God ain't showed up. Me and Ty was talking. We have you thinking, we was talking about thinking yesterday on the Zoom, right? It ain't happening yet. Right? He left you out here. Right? You out here alone, all by yourself. It ain't happening. What's up? Right? God gonna do his part. You gotta do yours. It's the process. That's the process. Why we check the check then? You gotta do your part. An act of faith. You gotta do. Love it. Right? Right? I put this down. It may be blessings lined up for us, right? Ignacio, Thomas, Riri, Zoom user. It might be blessings lined up for you, but for some reason, straight up, we can't get out of our own way. Straight up, flat out. That's the part we will not go look at ourselves in the mirror and say, man, I'm in my own way. Why? Because we so, we so smart, we think our way is the way. We think, man, I got this degree. I done seen some stuff in life. I I know that I've done this before. I've been doing this. How sway, right? Right, straight up. It may be blessings on blessings and everything and marital bliss and health and finances. and. But for some reason, we will not look at ourselves, right? Right? And say, yo, I'm the problem. Think about it straight up, right? Right? I wrote it. I wrote it like this. It may be blessings lined up for us, but we don't get them at the beginning of the journey, and that's a lot of our problem. Right? Right? We want to start a business. We want to start a relationship. We want to start a diet. We want to start our faith journey. We want to start, and then we want to say, boom, God, I started with a blessing there, bro. Right? Right? Ooh, Jacob, you on it. We get impatient. Yes, yes or no, right? Some of us would be like, you know what? I prayed last night and I woke up and it didn't happen. I'm going to do it my way. Enemy got you by yourself. God said, well, hold on. Pass me the rock, <laughs> right? 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 6 a.m., you done woke up, you done prayed on your knees, crying in your closet last night. 6 a.m., you woke up, them lights still off. Now you forget it. I'm done. God, I ask you, you ain't show up. That's what some of us want, straight up, right? See, 
enemy got you. He ain't blessing you. You asked, right? Right? Here's this. If you ain't, if you're not the beginning of the journey, I want my blessing person. Here's a lot of us right here. Some of us, some of us, right, want them blessings. We'd be in the middle and quick, right? Some of us want them blessings and we don't get it. We right in the middle and we quit, right? He don't move when we say, talk to I, right? Right? Some of us be like, God, okay. I done started eating healthy. Yesterday I ate a lettuce bowl. Why I ain't got no abs? Forget it. Cheesecake it is. <laughs> I'm going back. This don't work for me. God like, okay, you started, but you want it right here. Ty just said a consistency. She said guilty. Facts, I was just talking about my pecan pie last night, right? Where you at? We be like, God, where you at? I did three abs, right? I read one book and now I'm supposed to know it all. Come on, right? I stopped. This is this morning. I got up extra early and I, I wrote this first thing. Have y'all ever heard off the notes, right? And we're going to get to some scripture, I promise. Y'all ever heard of the miracle plant? The miracle plant? I heard this years and years ago on a motivational speech and it came back to me today, right? Y'all ever heard of the miracle plant, right? It's a, it's a, also, it's a, a, a real popular parable that people use when they teaching about patience and growth and persistence, right? Anybody heard of it? No, no, let me help you. Let me help you, right? It's a Chinese bamboo tree, right? This tree, it take five years to even, you plant this seed, it take five years to even crack the soil. You plant this joint, it take five years, right? It barely grows at all, five, half a decade, right? In the first four years, that joint don't move. Then all of a sudden, in that fifth year, that joint speed up and in, in less than a year, it can grow to be 80 feet to 90 feet tall. Five years, you don't see nothing. You done planted this tree. Five years, you done started this business. Five years, five days, you've been doing crunches. Yes, yes? Right? You don't see nothing. I'm talking about my life right now. I'm talking about my life right now. Started a business last year, and it's sputtering. Some of y'all know. Right? Right? Anybody ever start something, and it don't happen the first year? Ooh. We quit. I'm out. This ain't for me. Let me go see what somebody else doing on the gram and jump on and try to catch that wave. I'm out. Right? They call it the miracle plant. This ain't no miracle. Right? Some of them blessings we don't get because we never make it to the end. Do you need a strategist? Y'all better holler at Jen. Right? Right? Here, let's go to the word. Let's go to the word. Oh, I found a good one. Ty, you're going to be proud of me. You're going to be proud of me. I was on it this morning. Right? Never been in this book. Never been in this book. I heard this name. The first time I heard, the only time I've ever heard this name was watching the TV show, The Wire. Anybody on here from Baltimore? Anyway, anyway, Second Kings. Inez, you on here? I ain't see Adrian today. Uh, drop Second Kings uh, 5, verses 1 through 19. I'm not going to even read it all. I'm going to paraphrase it because it's long, right? Second Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 19. I'm going to paraphrase it. I had never found this in the book, right? Naaman, boy Naaman, that's actually a dope name. I heard that on the wire, but Naaman... He was sent to see the prophet Elijah. He needed to be supernaturally healed. That sound like you right now? Right? He had leprosy. Do people still get leprosy today? I don't know, but I wrote the definition. Right? Leprosy. A chronic, curable, infectious disease mainly causing skin lesions and nerve damage. Right? Naaman done pulled up on the prophet. I need to be healed. I need a supernatural healing. I need it. I need it. I need it. Sound like you? I need this light bill paid. I need this relationship to work. I need this job to call me back. I need, I need, I need. Pulled up on the prophet. Yes, yes. Knocked on the door. Sent the email. Yes, yes. He sent it. Instead of Elijah pulling up, coming to the door to greet him, Elijah sent a messenger. This is Bible. 
Y'all want to be deep drop this today. Bible's better than Netflix, I'm telling y'all. He sent a he sent a messenger to him and said, listen, boy, you know what? He told me to tell you, go wash yourself, right, in the Jordan seven times. Go wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times and your flesh will be restored and you shall be clean. That's Bible, right? I'm going to read it to you from, that's my paraphrase, but I'll read it uh, just 9, 10, and 11. I'll read 9, 10, and 11. Um, 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 9 through 11. Uh, Bible says this. So Naaman went to went with his horses and chariots and stopped by the door of Elijah's house. Verse 10. Elijah sent a messenger to him and said, go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan and your flesh will be restored and you'll be cleansed. Crazy part. Crazy part. Jen, you got to get the rest of this later. Have a good day. Right? Crazy part. Verse 11. But Naaman went away angry and said, man, I thought he'd surely come out and stand here and call on the name of the Lord God and wave his hand over the spot and cure me of my leprosy. That sound like us, don't it? Mm, early this morning, I found this. There it is. Thank you. I'm going to read it again. But Marcus, but Riri, but Thomas, but Taba, Yaku. Went away angry because we done knocked on the door of God and we said, God, I need this, I need this. And he said this, but Naaman went away angry and said, man, he didn't say man, but he said, I thought he, he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord God, wave his hands, spirit fingers, right? In the spot I need to be cured of my leprosy, wave his hands and my studio rent going to be paid. That's what I thought. Wave his hand and me and me and baby ain't gonna argue no more. Wave his hands and my addiction to porn gonna be gone. Wave his hands and I'm not gonna be an alcoholic no more. That's what you thought. Now you're mad, right? 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 We got these issues and we want God just to magically, right? And then here's the crazy part. We want this to go away this time so we can go right back to that same sin. Yes, yes, or no. I'm the only one repeated something that I had told God I wasn't going to do no more. I'm the only one. Right? Yeah, I'm on your street. This is going down. You need motivation today. Wonder why we check the check. Here we go. Jacob said it earlier. We in our own way. God done already did his part, right? Nowhere, nowhere in that Bible, nowhere in the book of Kings did it say, uh, Naaman, as you start dipping, my boy, you're going to be healed. Didn't say that. Yep. It didn't even say, bro, if you keep dipping, you're going to see the results. That ain't what it said. Nope, nope, nope. Read it again. Read it again. It didn't say that. Nowhere did God promise you, Yaku, Riri, that once you start this, bu this business, millions going to come in today. Nope. Didn't say that. Said, I gave you the gift to start the business. Your gifts and talents shall make room for you. That's word. That's Bible. That ain't me. Right. Verse 10 said, Elijah sent a messenger to him and said, go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. Your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed. Not in the middle of the seventh dip, not on five. And I started to feel good, but it ain't there yet. Not that I sold one shirt. And now, no, no. Seven times. It was after that process. I'm going to do my part. You got to do yours. It ain't going to happen in the beginning, not the first time. It ain't going to happen in the middle. It ain't going to even happen at the end. It's say after. Right? Don't let the start stop you. Ooh, Zoom user. What's your real name? I love that one. Y'all need a quote today. There you go. Right? Not at the beginning. Not in the middle. Not even when you almost there. Delay, not deny. Y'all making all these shirts. Y'all cool. You better get your pen out, right? Right? But after we was finished, I put this down. I put this down. Let me get, let me go fast. I knew this was going to happen, right? Some of us are falling off, right, when it comes to the promises of God, right? Because we want to control whatever it was supposed to come. We want to control it, right? We want to say, come on now, Lord. I pray right now, right? When it don't come in the beginning, we quit, right? Right? Some of us in the middle, and when you can't see the end, and you're too far from the beginning, we just quit. Forget it. 
stop. Right? Let me get this distraction going. Quit my process. Enemy cold with it, right? Some of us can get all the way to the end, right? Right? And when it starts to look good, we chill. Yes, yes, or no. Right? Some of us could be going through something and say, I've been going through this so long. Forget it. I'm going back to the block. And the enemy sitting over there clapping. Right? You've been dipping and dipping and dipping and your skin ain't changed, right? You that miracle plant. Four years, ain't nothing cracked the ground. And then all of a sudden, right? Enemy clapping because enemy knows God done already promised you, me, Phil, right? Thomas, right? Melanie, Jessica, do I need to keep going? Genesis, Erica, God done already promised us, right? Yo, you do your part, I'm gonna do my part. And guess what? I got plans for you. This is Jeremiah I'm going to, right? It ain't God's fault. We check the check. Think about it. Don't look at yourself in the mirror, right? Here's the disconnect. It's been a disconnect. Here's the disconnect, right? We think we waiting on God, God waiting on us, right? Right? Uh, I wrote it like this. Let me just read how I wrote it. Um, <laughs> when that check engine light come on, right? Here's your disconnect. When that check engine light come on, some of us will say, ah, I'll go later, right? I ain't gonna go to the fixer. Light on, right? When we, <coughs> I got the egg, right? Right? It's persistent, right? We don't get up and run to the doctor, we wait, right? They just want our money, right, right? When your marriage, when your relationship got all the signs of it's going left, we ain't going to no therapist. We think we're going to just make a point in the argument and they're going to see it our way. Am I guilty? Yes. Anybody else? Knowing we need to go sit down in front of somebody. No, nah, I'm going to do this my way and you're going to do it my way too and it's going to work out. And it don't, we quit. I'm out. The marriage didn't work. Yes, yes or no? I'm going to go to the job and I'm going to tell the manager how it should be done. And when he don't listen to me, you know what? I can't deal with this. I'm out. They tripping on me. We said 9 o'clock. You show up at 9.30. With your reason. Yeah. I'm on your street or I'm on, uh, yo, if you need the motivation today, you the problem. Right? 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 I wrote this down. Um, we wait. That check engine light on, we wait. That marriage showing all the signs, we wait. We sick, we wait, we wait, we wait. And then when, when it's too bad, we finally go, kicking and screaming, all folded, and now that little bitty mole is a whole mountain. And then we like, God, where you at? That's the disconnect. Here's the answer. It's in the scripture. Ty, you gonna love me. You're going to love me. This is one you always say. I found this one at 640 this morning. Right? Right? We done turned this little bitty mold to a mountain because we trying to do it our way. It ain't working. Right? And now we check the check and we like, where you at, God? Right? Right? Ooh, Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. Drop it in there. Ooh, we. When I wrote this, I said, Ty going to say, ooh. I'm going to give you a second. I know it's dropped that on there. Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. Here's, here's the blueprint to your disconnect. Here's why we disconnected right now. It's plain and simple. You done heard the scripture a thousand times. Isaiah 55, verse 8 says this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Who? What you say, Jacob? We're doing it our own way. Right? Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. If we're going to believe in that little old book, there you go. You need some motivation today. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Genesis, Ignacio, Erica, right? Inez, neither your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Whoops. Did I just mess that part up, Lord? Did we get disconnected, right? God saying right now, here's the problem. Here's your problem, Marcus, right? 
Right, guarded Angel, David, here's the problem right now. I got a thousand and some odd, I got 7,000 promises, right? Here's your challenge though, right? My thoughts ain't your thoughts. Here's your challenge. Get on my page, right? Your thoughts are your thoughts. Mines are mines. I'm going to do my part. I need you to do yours. I done made you in my image. You need to do your part. I done gave you dominion. You need to do your part. Right? Right? God is saying, here's the disconnect. We not on the same page. You so smart. Right? That check engine light been on your dashboard for some months. I'm telling you to come holler at me. Right? Right? That's verse 8. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Ty even add to it sometimes, say, my wallet ain't your wallet, right? <laughs> right? Neither are your ways mine, declares the Lord. Let's keep going. Verse 9, <clears throat> Bible. As the heavens are higher than the earth. This ain't even spiritual talk. This physical now. Right? My people on earth. Anybody else on earth? Anybody other than me out here? Bible said it right here in our face. Let's get physical with it since you think everything is spiritual. As the heavens are higher than the earth. Is there a reason we be looking up? <laughs> right? Blessed be's Bible version. I ain't on your level, Riri. Yes, yes, a temporary resident. Right, coach? Blessed be's Bible version. I'm not on your level, guarded. David, we on different levels. Of God talking to us. Your thoughts ain't mine. My heaven higher than your earth, but you want to do it your way. Go ahead, my boy. Come holler at me when the car finally stopped. The check engine light been on. And then we're going, I just came in for a timing belt, and they telling me this, that, and the other. I tried to tell you, right? Bless me's Bible version. So my way is higher than yours. My thoughts are bigger than yours. You so smart, bless me's Bible version. You done seen some stuff. You done lived some life. Yes, yes. You done read some. You done watched some YouTube videos. Yep, yep. You not on my level. That's what God's saying. Yo, I can give you all this dominion. Can you? Or you got to go ask for permission from somebody. I can give you dominion. I done gave you dominion, right? Here's the disconnect. I'm on my notes now. God's saying I got a whole lot of promises, right? Problem is we trying to convince God that our way is the right way. Ooh, we, anybody? I'm just going to do this. I know how I can go get this bread. I know, I know what I'm going to tell her to do. I know, right? Big disconnect. My thoughts higher than yours. My way is not your ways, but you trying to convince God, I got this. You know what that's like? You know what that's like? Trying to tell a millionaire how to make a million dollars and you ain't, you check the check. Trying to walk in your job and tell the boss how to do something. Somebody that's been doing this. Right? A little bit of pride, a little bit of ego in there. I'm trying to convince you to do it my way. It ain't going to work. Right? Ask yourself this. Why do God even entertain some of us? Right? We trying to run our own play. We try to convince God that our culture is the right way. We trying to convince God that, that, uh, Man, I done, I've been doing this. Why God even want to entertain some of that? So now what that blessing is supposed to happen in six months now takes two years. You got it? My message, it, what I got out of that part right there is I ain't going to argue with you. I'm done stressing. Ty, that's what I wanted to say last night. I was coming from the gym. I was feeling good. And I wanted to tell the enemy. I wanted to tell my enemies, my devils, my mountains. Yo, I ain't going to even fight with you no more. I'm going to sleep good tonight, resting on his promise. He got 7,000, 7,500 of them. I'm just going to rest on what God said. You got it. Not in the sense of you, but in the sense of my mountains. And we should all start thinking like that, right? Right? Crazy part, Marcus, Angel, we be thinking we that smart. We've been thinking, I've been on this job 22 years. I've been, I've, I've been. <laughs> Right? Yesterday, we talked about a thought. Oh, I knew this was going to be long. I was on it this morning. A thought. We talked about it yesterday, if you missed it. An idea or opinion produced by thinking occurring suddenly in your mind. That's Webster's Dictionary. 
right? A thought. It can happen. A thought can happen. Here's what's crazy. We talked about the angel and the devil from the cartoons. A thought can jump in your head and you can go either way. You got to be able to knock one of them off. Yes, yes or no, right? Right? The enemy can get you to think something too. The enemy can get you to think you out here by yourself. The enemy can think, have you thinking he or she doing something. The enemy can have you thinking the money not going to come. Yes, yes or no? God done already promised you. Right? God said, yo, Mark, your thoughts ain't mine. Quit trying to Quit trying to run your play, right? Ways. He said, your ways are not mine. Webster's Dictionary, a method. Your way is a method or style, or I was on it this morning. I'm sorry, y'all, bear with me. We'll be done. Uh, your ways, a method or a style or a manner of doing something your way, right? Here's an example. There are two ways to approaching this. I got a problem. I could do it this way or this way. That's your way, right? Right? Let me tell you God way. He gave us the blueprint right there in our face. Didn't try to cover it up. It's called Jeremiah 29, 11. Can we start running that play? Can we start running? Can we start doing the Jeremiah 29, 11? God said this. You want to be deep today for my people that don't know that one. For I know the plans I have for you. Crazy. Prideful man. Right? Plans to prosper you. He told you, I got you. I got a plan for you. I got a plan to not harm you. I got a plan to give you hope. And I got a plan to give you future, Thomas. Right? We be saying, oh, wow, that's dope. God, cool. I appreciate it. But can you do it like this? God be like, bruh. God, it need to look like this, though. God, it need to feel like this. You see them on the gram, God, it need to look like that. God be like, bro. Right? I wrote this down. Some of us are where we are right now because we know too much. We too smart for our own good. Yep. Yep. That experience on your job is killing you. Yep. 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 All that wisdom, all them YouTube videos holding you back. Yep. Think about it. Go look at yourself in the mirror with your smart self and say, if I'm so smart, why, why am I check the check then, right? <laughs> if I'm so smart, if I'm so fine, if I'm so dope, if I'm so popular, then why I got these issues, whatever issue you got, right? You want to put yourself in positions that we not even real life qualified for. I don't care how many times you done did this job. We ain't qualified to make them decisions. God said in the beginning, before you was here, Thanks. before you was here, I, God been saying, how sway, I've been doing this. You just got here. You ain't been doing this for 32 years. What are you talking about? Right? You trying to make decisions that you never made before and not consulting the person that created it. Come on, somebody talk to me for real. Think about it. We trying to make decisions on tomorrow and we can't Jimmy. man right we want to be the expert of a situation so bad right i'm gonna tell you how to get this bread my boy let me tell you i'm gonna tell you to play yo you're gonna do it my way you're gonna do it god's way right if it's in his will right if it's in his it might not even be in his will for you to be that so you climbing this mountain and it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Yo, lean not. To, I'm going to buy it today. Lean not to your own understanding of Proverbs. Yeah. Right? We know too much. We know it all. Right? Got to be our, our it's got to be my way. And now we in isolation. Here, I'm going to get to you, Ty. Hang on. I'm almost done. Right? We got to stop. I wrote this down. We got to stop doing it my way. We got to stop doing it your way, Inez. We got to stop, Curtis. Right? Right? Can we stop telling God how to bless us? Right? Can we stop telling God, man, it need to look like? God, it need to feel like. Can we stop? Right? Can we stop being so smart that we dumb? Right? Right? Can we not? Um, I, no, I wrote it like this. I'm going to read it off my notes. We, we're not getting the results that we want doing our own thing, trying to control every situation, right? Can we start letting God 
be God. God said, yo, I'm building you in my image. You got dominion. Why can't we just be like, all right, God, cool. You gave me dominion, I'm running that play. Instead of saying, all right, bet. Now, I'm going to throw this sauce in it and see what we come up with, right? Can we just start running the 29-11? That's the play for today, the 29-11. Run that play. God said the play, here's the play. Ready, break. I know the plans I have for you. I got a plan to prosper you. I got a plan not to harm you. I got a plan to give you hope. I got a plan to give you a future. God, can we go to our Lord and Savior right now on that? Can we, God, can we just run that play? God, can we humbly submit ourselves to you right now? God, put that in us today. God, forgive us for trying to um, do things our way. God, we love you. We thank you for the plans that you have for us. In spite, despite what it looks like from our eyes. God, can you continue to order our steps? God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for opportunities. God, we thank you for the decisions you let us make. But God, can we just run your place? God, we say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sheeps follow goats. Buck, I missed that. Stop being so smart, we're dumb. Yeah, facts. Tie your hand up. Go for it. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, piggyback. Man, that word was just so good, so edifying. And I'm just giving God glory, just praying that this was not only the milk, this was a portion of the beef. So praise the Lord for that. Um, you asked the question and you was like, the first thing that popped up to me was, um, why can't we just go with the plan, right? What's the plan? And it's like, Huh? What's the plan, Ray? <laughs> you silly. And it's like, why we can't just go with the plan? Like you said in Jeremiah 29, 11, or like the Lord said, he know the plans he has for us, plans to prosper. So why can we not just go with that? And I could tell you there's multiple reasons why that lines up under that. A lot of times it's because of the gift of free will that God has given us. I always ask myself, God, how come you've given us a gift that is so powerful that we don't know how to use that cause us to put us in the situations that we are in? That gift of free will, because he loves us so much that he want, He doesn't want you to feel like he's forcing his yes. plan and his will upon you. He wants you to make that choice. It's just like when you're in a relationship and wish that's what it is with God. When you go into a relationship with someone, you don't want to force them to love you. You don't want them. You don't want to force them to see you the way you know that you are. You don't want to force them to uh, look at things the way you look at it. You want to give them the option and the opportunity to do it because they're making that choice to do it, which is the same thing with salvation. It's the same thing with following God's uh, commandments. It's the same thing in regards to how we treat each other. And even when we go up on the job. So is that gift of free will is the self-righteousness, you know, us thinking what is right in our eyes. The Bible says there's a way that seem right to a man, but in the end thereof there is death. So there are things that we may think that is right, but it doesn't line up with the word of God. It doesn't line up with his way and in his will because his ways and his thoughts is higher. Why do you think he instructs us to seek his will, to seek the things that he has for us? Because our mindsets cannot be wrapped around the actual things that he has for us. And he wants to give us those things if we make that choice to allow him to. Nothing forcefully because God is a gentleman, right? Last thing I want to say is this. Uh, Marcus was speaking on the fact this, I don't know who this is for, but this is some for somebody and even me. We will go on jobs. God will place us on platforms. He will put us in positions, right? And sure. You may see things that's happening that you know that, man, if if that person was to go with this plan, it will work out perfectly because they're constantly trying to find out what's the plan. But keep in mind, you're not the original person that God gave the vision to. So God didn't place you on a platform for you to take away from the vision or to think that you're there to change the vision. Sometimes God will unmask some things to you and reveal some things to you for you to cover that person in prayer 
and to ask God to help them to see those things that he just revealed to you. God, give it to them. And if it's in your will for me to share that with them, then give me the opportunity to share it with them humbly that will give them what they need out of it to get to where you're trying to allow them to get with the provision you've given them. But sometimes we come up on the scene trying to change the vision or the provision that God has given. Oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Women, married women, stop trying to change the provision God has given to your husband. My God, sorry, that's in the spirit. <laughs> God has given instructions to your husband. You are not there to change those instructions. You are there to add on onto it and pull the greatness up out of him. Okay, people who are thinking about getting into a relationship, thinking about uh, uh, going to the next level on the job, you are not there to change the provision, but to add. Last thing, I'm so sorry. This is in the spirit. I'm not sorry because I'm grateful that the Holy Spirit letting this stuff go forth. One more thing that I have to say. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I think about unity. We think that unity is everybody doing the same exact thing. That's not what God means when he says unity. Unity is being gifted in what you are gifted in and everybody working in those own, in their own gifts to lead towards the provision that's ultimately given for it to be accomplished. It's just like the body of Christ. It's different parts of the body. No part look the same. It's an eye, it's an arm, it's a leg, it's a head, right? Leg can't do what the eyes do. It's not called to do the same thing. It's called to do its own portion so that oh. it can come together and do one thing for the provision to go forth. That's what you hey. look like. That's all I wanted to say. Amen. Hey. 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 I think some of that is for Marcus hey. right there. Hey. Hey. That was oh, no. awesome time. Oh, no. Hey. I'm telling All glory you, to God. This word today, this word today, man. Um, I really was on some inspiration and some motivation uh last night and, and this morning. I think it was 5 13 when I got up. And the rest of that just came, right? Uh man, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Have your way, have your way into all of our lives, y'all. It to answer that question, why when we start asking why. Real life, start thinking about how we run our own place, right? Start thinking about it, right? And then some people bold enough to say, well, I'm doing what God said. Oh, yo, you adding seasoning to it, right? So it, 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 it's deep. Anybody else? Because we, we way over time today. Anybody else? Much need a word. Yep. Follow the cloud. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. She said, I'm mad because I ain't wake you up. Do some sleep. All right. Um, tomorrow, Wednesday, if anybody want to leave, please let me know. Uh, hopefully the, I get another word. Maybe it might be late at night again. But I thought that was much needed. That word was for myself today. You're right, coach. It was for me. Um, so all right, I'm out of here. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>